How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. At the request of fans, today we're replacing the thermal paste on the Lenovo Legion 5 2021 AMD. Let's reduce the CPU temperature by 14 degrees Celsius in six simple steps, easily improving your laptop's performance. Tutorials for replacing and upgrading thermal paste on laptops are available in the main tutorial collection on our homepage. You can also comment with your model if you need specific guidance. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Step 1. Get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Place the laptop with the bottom facing up. Using a PH0 screwdriver, remove the 10 screws securing the bottom cover. Note that the four screws at the bottom are shorter than the others. A magnetic mat is recommended to prevent screws from getting mixed up or lost. Prepare a triangular pry tool and a spudger. Insert the triangular pry tool at the bottom edge of the laptop and carefully slide it along the perimeter to loosen the cover. Once inserted, gently wiggle it up and down to make it easier to detach the bottom cover. After opening the cover, use the spudger to disconnect the battery cable by pushing outward on both sides of the connector. Once disconnected, press and hold the power button for 15 seconds to discharge any remaining power. Remove the first screw securing the left side heatsink armor, then take it off. Unplug both cooling fans. Remove the three screws on the right side heatsink armor and take it off as well. Next, remove the four screws securing both cooling fans, noting that the top left and top right screws are longer. Following the numbered sequence, gradually loosen the six captive screws securing the heatsink module. Use a high-quality screwdriver, such as the Cooling Monster Combo 01, and apply vertical pressure to prevent stripping the screws. Lift the heatsink evenly from both sides with both hands to remove it. Clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Make sure to clean off the remaining thermal paste from the cooling module.
Step 4. Clean the fan. Using a PH000 screwdriver, remove the 10 small screws securing the fan covers and take them off. We use an anti-static brush and compressed air for cleaning. Brush away dust from the fan blades and cooling module. When using compressed air, keep a small distance to prevent liquid from spraying out. This method effectively cleans fine dust and significantly improves cooling efficiency. Don't forget to clean the dust from the back panel as well. Step 5, apply thermal paste. Here we used cooling Monster Cold 01 high performance thermal paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-size method if you like. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Now, reassemble the laptop in reverse order. Reattach the fans, reinstall the covers, and secure them with screws. Gently place the heatsink module back and tighten the screws on both cooling fans. Following the numerical sequence, tighten the heatsink screws to about 70% first, then fully secure them to distribute pressure evenly. Plug in both fan cables. Place the heatsink armor back on both sides and secure them with screws. Finally, reconnect the battery cable to the motherboard. Power on the laptop to confirm everything is working correctly.
snap the bottom cover back in place, ensure all clips are secure, and screw the back panel into place. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.